Hey everybody, I'm DJ TLM. Welcome to DJ TLM TV. In this special Serato Scratch Life series, I'll show you everything you need to know about my favorite digital vinyl system, Serato Scratch Live. If you haven't seen part one and two, you can find the links in the description down below. Today, we're gonna take a look at the software, Serato Scratch Live. All right guys, let's take a look at Serato Scratch Live. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview, show you some of the most important features, and in the next couple of videos, I'll give you an in-depth look, check out every function, and go through the entire setup menu to show you how you can set up Serato Scratch Live to fit your personal preference. Let's take a look at the main display right here, the main screen, and go straight to the most important part. And that's the virtual decks right here, deck number one and deck number two, with the two virtual platters, and these two platters represent your two turntables or CD players. I have my turntable set connected right now, and if I grab my turntable number two, I control whatever's loaded into virtual deck number two. And the same goes for turntable one. That controls whatever's loaded into virtual deck number one. So the turntables are controlling the songs inside the software. Now, there's a lot of info on the screen. I'll start at the top. This is your track information, the title, the BPM, and the length of the song. And inside the platter, you have some more info, and that's the current position of the song. It's at the beginning right now. The duration of the song and BPM, but this is not the track BPM. This is the BPM that you're playing at. I'll show you by starting the track. Take the volume down a bit. Now, right now the BPM is the same as in the track info, but if I speed up my turntable right now, increase the tempo, there you go. The BPM increases as well, and it shows you by how much percent I'm increasing my tempo. So that's the big difference between the BPM there and the BPM inside the platter. Now, one of the reasons that I really like Serato Scratch Live is I can DJ with my turntables, but now I have the same advantages as people who use the professional CD and media players. So for one, you have the hot cues. Right here I have five slots and these five slots are for hot cues. If you're not familiar with hot cues, make sure that you check out my cue point video. But just to give you a quick explanation, a cue point is a marker that you can place at any position in your song and it will allow you straight access to that part once you trigger the cue point. So right now I have cue points set at the beginning of the song and if I press the play button, boom. I'm back at the beginning of the song. Now you can use cue points with your mouse, but you can also use your keyboard to trigger, and you can also use MIDI controllers. I have my Novation Dicer right here on top of the turntable to, highlight, to trigger my cue points. Now it's real easy to make cue points as well. For instance, if I want a cue point right there at the snare, I just press plus, and now... I have a cue point. If I don't like the cue point, all I have to do is press X and it's gone again. So it's real easy to add or delete cue points and recall them on the computer or with a controller. Now the other thing I was talking about is loops. Like all the CD players have the loop functions. Now, if I wanna make a loop, I'll start right here at the beginning, press in. Let's stop the loop right there. There you go, there's the loop. And I can change the size of the loop as well. And that goes on to even smaller or larger loops as well. So cue points and loops, two very important features that you can add while still using your traditional turntables. There's a lot of mixers that have effects, but Serato has inbuilt effects as well. You have three slots for each virtual deck, and you can choose from a whole bunch of effects right here. And you even have the option to tweak those effects quite thoroughly. You have effects, you have sample banks, you can load sounds or entire songs into these six slots, and you have four banks, which means you have up to 24 slots for sounds and songs 
to put in your oh, sample bank. Oh, yeah. So you have effects, you have samples, you have your cue points, you have loops. Now the big windows in the middle make it very easy because they give you a close-up view of your current position. So it's real easy to find those kicks and snares where you want to place your cues. And if you want to find big changes in the song, you can use the overview of the tracks that you see right here. Because for instance, this song right here has a big change right here. I think this is where all the bass is taken out. I can click and go straight to that point. Let's check it out. Yep, so that's the part where all the sound except for the drums goes out and overview gives you a clear view of where that begins. So very useful if you want to find that different spot in a song like a breakdown or if you have a song that starts with a long intro and you want to go straight to where the drums begin, the overview will show you. Now I prefer to use Serato the way it's set up right now but you have a couple of different options when it comes to how you can view Serato. For instance, you can make your virtual decks a lot smaller which gives you more room to see the contents of your crates. I don't like this view but for people who want to have like a big big portion for the tracks this is the view. Then a lot of DJs like this view. Now the virtual decks are the same it's only that the way that the displays are presented are different because they're vertical instead of horizontal so if you play a track this is how it shows the track I don't like this view and I'm very used to this view because if you use any type of audio editing program or a DAW this is the way that WAV files are presented horizontal so I'm used to seeing WAV files move like this that's why this was a logical choice for me now there's one more option right here and that's this option where the virtual decks are on top of each other and I don't like this one because I want this to feel like my turntables one on the left and one on the right now I already talked about the content and the content of the digital virtual crates however you want to call them back in the days I had to bring like real crates packed with vinyl and now I have these little crates right here with my wave and mp3 files in there and in my case even video files you have different ways that you can look at your crates and your info you have a lot of info that you can add for instance i have artist bpm comment key but there's a lot more info you can add to it, it all depends on how uh thorough you tag your mp3s but there's a lot you can do right there now you have your normal crates but you also have your smart crates right here and the smart crates can be adjusted and you can tell the crate what type of files you want it to hold. For instance this has a smart crate rule that says I want tracks to have a BPM above 89 and lower than 97. So that means that this crate will hold every track in my Serato library with a BPM between 89 and 97 that's one rule but you can make different type of rules as well like added or uh, uh, from what type of album or genre you can make all types of rules and it's a very cool feature now of course you're able to search for music in the search box right here and I prefer this over the way you can search on um, a CDJ for instance because I can just type and typing is so fast I can just say bang and it will find a track straight away so it's a lot easier I'll go to all songs and if I press bang okay you have these songs with that word in it very useful if you're in the middle of a set and you know you're looking for that track you can't remember in which crate you stored it you just go to all music and you just insert the name right there and if it's in Serato it will show you straight away you already saw and I already said video over here I have the option and that's the optional plugin that you have to purchase Serato video I'm not gonna get deep into that right now I'll do that in a separate video but Serato video does exactly what you think it does it allows you to not just load audio into your virtual decks but load video files into your virtual decks and Mix and scratch with video. This is the output window. This is what you would put in an extra external monitor or for instance send it to a Beamer to display on a big screen. 
but you can mix and scratch with video files so very cool but I'm not getting into that right now now one more thing I'd like to mention of course is the MIDI capability I have my Novation Dicers my small MIDI controllers attached to my turntables and connected to my computer and Serato Scratch Live allows you to connect MIDI devices and these MIDI devices can trigger almost any function inside Serato Scratch Live. I use them for instance to trigger my cue points. If I press this button right here, boom, it takes me to my cue point, but it also triggers my loops and effects and sample banks. So I can do all that from this little device right here, which means that I have to spend less time on the laptop. You can add any type of MIDI controller connected to your computer and allow it to trigger functions inside Serato Scratch Live. So yeah, that kind of sums up some of the major features. Now there's a lot more you can do with Serato and we'll get into that in the next videos. But this is what I love about Serato Scratch Live and digital vinyl systems overall. It allows me to play with my turntables because I really enjoy the feel of turntables moving platters. But I've added all the power that the other DJs with their other equipment have. I have my cue points, I have my loops, I can trigger stuff from my MIDI controller on top of my turntable, I can find tracks faster, I have everything in my library double because I can load it into both decks, which allows me to do turntablism tricks with every song that I own. And now I can even do video as well. Serato Scratch Live and Digital Vinyl Systems definitely changed the way I can approach my DJing. Uh, I will give you two quick tips. One is make sure that you run the latest version of Serato Scratch Live. Press setup and right here you can see your current version and the latest version right now is version 2.4.4 and you can always click the check for updates button because it will take you straight to the Serato website to get the latest version. The second tip is if you want to know what any button on this Serato software does all you have to do is press the little question mark right here and now if you hover your mouse over a button it will show you what it does um, mine is in Dutch so that won't help you right now but your Serato will show you the help info in your own language I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Serato Scratch Live software in the next couple of videos, I'm going to give you a closer look at all the functions and I'll also show you how to use the setup menu. That's all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out DJTLMTV.com.